Well, happening today, Philadelphia Mayor Sherelle Parker will reveal her first budget to City Council. This will be the first big test for Parker's new agenda, which includes anti-violence initiatives laid before a largely brand new City Council. Action News reporter Corey Davis took a first look at the funding projections and breaks down some of the key numbers live on the Ben Franklin Parkway. Good morning, Corey. Matt, good morning. There are so many elements to this budget that affects the everyday lives of Philadelphians out there. We're told so far that taxes are expected to remain roughly the same. Uh, public safety, the police department will be getting a lot of funding. Street paving will also be a big ticket item. People are, of course, tired of the potholes out there. Overall, though, the budget is revealing that there are a need, there is a need for, to fill those open positions, hundreds of open positions within the city to get these goals moving along. Our biggest investment is in public safety. More than $600 million will go into the safety component of Mayor Sherelle Parker's slogan of making Philadelphia the safest, cleanest, and greenest big city. The total cost of Parker's budget is expected to come in at $6.3 billion over five years. And the new office is really thinking through how to make sure um, those dollars are being used in ways um, that, are, that are really translating into impact. While giving a glimpse at some of the plans, the administration stressed that it'll increase support to the police department and anti-violence initiatives such as grants. Millions of dollars will go toward upgrading police technology, buying new cars, drones, and improving the department's forensics lab. The police department is still down hundreds of officers, which continues to be a struggle for the city to fill those positions. Parker's administration is navigating the post-pandemic economy after her administration says the city lost one and a half billion dollars in revenue during that time frame. Officials say the city he still has roughly 450 million left of federal pandemic relief money that needs to be spent by the end of the year. Another large investment will be street paving. Half a billion dollars, I don't get to say that a lot, billion, half a billion um, over the life of our capital program. They'll also be addressing quality of life issues such as littering, illegal dumping, abandoned cars, as well as vacant lots and buildings. One of the largest components and new programs is launching the citywide residential cleaning program, which would be dedicated cleaning crews in each council district. And we've also been reporting on how the mayor's administration will be focusing on their efforts to clean up the open drug use happening in the Kensington neighborhood. A hundred million dollars is proposed for that effort, including rehab services, too. We also know that the school district will be getting a twenty two million dollar increase on top of what they're already getting. SEPTA also will be receiving more money. City Council has until July 1st when the new budget goes into effect to hash all of this out and to approve a deal. Reporting live here along the Parkway, Corey Davis. Channel 6 Action News. Tam. All right. Thank you, Corey.